Hey everyone, happy holidays and welcome back to another off-roading vlog with the Ulul's Overland Lifestyle Unlimited. My name is Kevin Jorgensen and in today's adventure, we're going to the El Paso Mountains of a northern Mojave Desert to visit Boroughschmidt Tunnel. The story goes a person by the name William Boroughschmidt took 38 years digging this tunnel using only hand tools. So he's a crazy guy, but I'll tell you guys more about the place and him later on in this video. The plan is basically to take the Trail 86B and navigate our way inside Red Rock Canyon State Park to reach our final destination. Um, there's going to be a lot of scenic driving here, so stick around. You guys all enjoy the drive here. Also joining me in this trip, in this adventure, is my friend Yasek who's basically going to be helping me out driving my Jeep so I could film our adventure. And I'm also trying to convince this guy to do off-roading with me, so I hope it works. With that being said, I hope you guys stick around and enjoy the rest of this video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. We left Los Angeles and drove 120 miles north and set up camp in Jawbone Canyon just 10 minutes away from Red Rock Canyon State Park. Our plan is to hit up the trails first thing in the morning. If you do it like this, it's a big no-no. So you have to do like this. Because if you do it like this, it will be a lot of fun. It will be a lot of fun. It will be a lot after we set up camp and ate dinner, we spent the rest of the night around the fire enjoying each other camaraderie. This is our campsite. Yeah, we're setting up breakfast right now. Morning dad. Say more good morning. Good morning again, Kuya Jo. What are you doing? Good morning. Just making a short video. <laughs> making a short video? Yeah. Okay. Kuya Jay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Later, ma. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Party? Orca, how are you? I don't know if you post it in video. I don't know if you post it. So we're about like 11 rigs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, 12 rigs. 12 rigs. We're getting ready. Uh, we're going to Red Canyon State Park. Okay, we're packing up, we're packing up. After we packed up and had breakfast, we drove north towards Red Rock Canyon State Park. by at the visiting center where we took some pictures and prepared for the trail. Airing down? Air down? Air down? Done? Done? Yes. Done. After a short break, we aired down and then drove north towards Trail 86B entrance.
we finally hit the dirt road. You like it so far though, right? Of course. So hopefully after this uh, trip, Yasek will buy his own uh, Montero. Gentry Montero. After a few hours of driving around Red Rock Canyon State Park, we finally arrive at the Burrow Schmidt Tunnel. Back in the 1900s, a young man named William Henry Schmidt was diagnosed with tuberculosis. William was originally from Rhode Island, then he moved to California after he was told by his doctor that the dry air here might be better for him. He started digging this tunnel in 1906. So they said this tunnel is about half a mile. So we're gonna walk half a mile here. And hopefully, we'll see the light on the other side of the tunnel. You don't know? Sweetie mine? Sweetie mine? Sweetie Halfway through the tunnel, you will find some kind of maintenance storage area. The tunnel behind this door extends back about 41, 35 feet. It's being used to store maintenance hardware for tunnel. Vehicle used to. Okay. What's amazing about this tunnel Look, is he did it by hand with no help and no prior knowledge about mining or digging. The original goal was to bring a shortcut transferring ore through the mountains. Right. 
Halfway through their process, our we road was built over light. the mountain, making this hole useless. So it's accurate. It's about half a mile, then all, all the way in the end, we have to make a right. And we're almost there. Just watch your head. The ceiling is too low. Yep, watch your head. I'm six feet flat, so I have to bend down a little bit. After finishing a tunnel in 1938, he moved away from Copper Mountain and finished off the rest of his oh days in a nearby town. We're going back. Yeah. Oh my god. We have to go back. for helping me drive without this guy it'll be hard for me to film <laughs> driving and film me hey guys that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe so say bye Yasek see ya see ya thank you thank you so much bye bye